First of all, then, the complication of conjunctival ballooning or chemosis. Although not so serious in itself, it's an irritating problem that can significantly interfere with visibility. It happens to all of us at times and to various degrees. It occurs simply because the keratome has breached the insertion of the conjunctiva. This is fairly subtle in practice and usually passes unnoticed at the time when the incision is made. It also tends to develop quite slowly over a few minutes so that you're not really aware of it building up until it's almost full blown. It's more obvious here where you see it speeded up by a factor of 25. This compresses the four minutes that it takes into about seven seconds. If you're lucky, then you may in fact be able to finish the surgery before it's created any practical difficulties for you. However, more often than not, it causes fluid pooling on the cornea that creates distortions and reflections, and this significantly interferes with your view.